Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking smooth zoom transition effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that I have here is I've got two clips that I recorded on my drone and this was down in Eden in New South Wales. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to drag them to our timeline and I'm only going to let these clips run for about two seconds each and so therefore my composition settings are only going to be four seconds in length. Now the, the clip at the bottom is the one I want to transition from to the clip at the top and right there we have that hard cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our zoom transition roughly around about there. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and grab an effect called motion tile and what we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the top layer and then we're going to copy it to the bottom layer. So what we need to do is we need to just go to output width, we're going to change that to 300, we're going to change the output height to 300 and then we're going to click on mirror edges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control C to copy that effect, go to the bottom layer and then paste that effect there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to put the adjustment layer on the top and I'm going to let it run the entire duration of that composition. What we need to do then is we need to go and get an effect called transform and we need to drag that down to our adjustment layer. So once we've added the transform effect, we need to add some keyframes. So I'm going to go to where the second clip starts and then I'm going to hold shift and press page up and that will bring the playhead back 10 frames. And once I've done that, then I need to click on the stopwatch icon for scale and then I'm going to press U on my keyboard to bring up my keyframes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move to one frame before the end of that first clip and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that up to 200% and then I'm going to move over one frame so this is where the next clip starts and then I'm going to bring that back down to about 70% and then I'm going to hold shift and press page down that will move the playhead 10 frames forward I'm going to bring it back down to its original size at 100. And so now if you scrub through that, you can see that we've got the clip, it's zooming in and then it goes to the next clip and it kind of rests there. So what we need to do is now we need to make this look a little bit better. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to enable motion blur. All right, I'm going to enable motion blur for all the layers and then I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to uncheck this box, use composition shutter angle and I'm going to change the shutter angle to 180. So now once you highlight all your keyframes, what you need to do is you need to come over here to the graph editor and the graph editor that I'm going to use is the value graph editor and what we need to do is we need to create a nice smooth ramp motion that goes from you know zero, brings it up really high and then comes back down. So to do this, you can just follow along. So I'm just going to grab this keyframe over here and I'm going to bring it down until about there so you don't want that graph to hit into that bottom part just yet but then you, you're going to bring this side over and you want to just have that slight ramp in the opposite direction and then what we need to do is we need to do the same thing for the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that in just like that but this time I really don't want it to go into that positive space over there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that out slightly and then once I've done that then we can go and we can preview that so if we look through and now you can see that when you go and preview this we have that it kind of zooms in a bit and then it zooms out and then it goes into the next clip and that's looking pretty cool so if you want to play around with some of those settings you know how much it zooms in this is the point you have to play with so if you don't want it to zoom in for that long or you want it to be shorter then you will need to move that but ideally you want it to have a very steep curve right at the end and then the opposite on the other side 
Now, once we've done that, that's pretty much the effect done. The final touches that we need to do for this is I'm just going to add some crop bars to this adjustment layer. So I'm going to come down and search for crop edges. Now, I don't need the left and the right one. So all I'm going to do is just delete it. And then I'm going to go to crop amount, change that to about 12%. And there we have that letterbox effect. And the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some lumetri color. So all I'm going to do is add some lumetri color to this. And then I'm going to choose a LUT. And then that's pretty much it. So if I wanted to, you know, play around with some of the settings, I can. But you can see that now we create that nice smooth zoom effect and that's looking pretty cool. So anyways guys, that's it for this quick short tutorial. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.